Okay, so we're going to jump right in on this one. The first thing I'm going to do here is just go ahead and get everything uh, lubricated, put some oil on everything, oil the camshaft. Basically what I have here is I got a pair of J35A6 cylinder heads that I got to put the Brian Crower camshafts in. Uh, these heads have a set of super tech springs, retainers, and valves. So here I'm putting in the lost motion assembly. That's pretty much the first thing that needs to go in. I like to work on the exhaust rocker assembly first as that's the one that's a little bit more tricky with the springs. Um, but if you look at it closely, it goes in pretty well. So now I'm just gonna screw in um, all of the bolts. And once I got them all down in place, I will go ahead and get them torqued. Once I got that in, I'm going to go ahead and put the cam cap in. This is the rear cylinder head. And now moving on to the intake rockers. These are a little bit easier to put in than the exhaust side. Really just have to make sure that the rocker tips are lined up over the, over the valves. And I'm gonna go ahead and get all the bolts um, zapped down quickly and I can go ahead and get everything torqued down to spec. So I finished with the rear head. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the front head. I'll get the cam put in. I already um, oiled everything down. Go ahead and put one of our billet cam caps in on the front head. And just like I did on the rear, on the rear head, just get all the bolts uh, put in and torque to spec. Make sure the rocker assembly is all lined up. And what I like to do here is um, when I'm putting a new heads on a motor, I always like to screw the valve adjustment screws all the way out. This basically loosens, um, pulls the rockers away further away from the valves. So that way, you're sure that none of the valves are actually open. So if you ever put the heads on on an untimed engine per se, you don't have to worry about any piston to valve contact. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and get all the ARP head studs put in. I mean, we like to use ARP on all the builds that we do here. They just um, work out a lot nicer. It also makes things a little bit easier and they can handle quite a bit more power. So just kind of speed through that. Put the stock factory head gaskets on we got dowel pins in place and we can just get to resting the heads on once the heads on are in place we just got to put all the arp washers and nuts in and we can go ahead and get everything torqued to spec i like to torque um in four stages i go from 30 foot pounds to 60 foot pounds or um i do actually i do like 30 50 70 and then the final step is to actually do them at 90. This customer wanted a set of our CNC ported um, intake manifold runners so I'm just going to go ahead and get those rest on here for easy shipping and get everything wrapped up and this motor is pretty much ready to go. Thanks again for watching.